was waiting for, for the announcement on F2. Um, and I remember getting a phone call from my manager. I was in quarantine in New Zealand in a hotel and, and he said to me, Dr. Marco's about to phone him. Um, what could this be about? What have we not done? Ah. And then he's like, I'll call you back after I know. And he calls me back and he's like, uh, well, you're driving a DTM next year. Um, and I was like, wow, okay. Um, and basically then I think two weeks later found out it was gonna be with Alex. Um, obviously Alex was in Formula One, so uh, I was kind of like, ooh, Alex Elbon, you know. <laughs> Like cry out, yeah. like, do the, but it's like the the laugh of the morning. Yeah, if it didn't have my face, it'd be really nice. Social media superstar. Did you see my Instagram? Oh, I just hold it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. It's quite funny, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen. You don't like a phone. Keep me away from children. Yeah. We knew we had uh, a good package. Uh, we know the car. Uh, we know it's a good car and really, really reliable and versatile. Uh, we know ourselves as a team. Uh, we can really uh, do good uh, in any kind of condition. And uh, we knew the drivers were really good. Uh, we know Dr. Marco Nasr that never gets one wrong. So <laughs> it was uh, really high hopes for uh, for this championship, and we were really, really confident to to show what we could do. When we won the first race in Monza, was uh, was actually quite incredible. Uh, so uh, that at that point, I, w I was already quite confident. Okay, at least we have a contender for the for the championship here. <laughs> Good shot, mate. Liam Lawson trying to squeeze around the outside. He knows this is his opportunity and he takes it with both hands. The Kiwi is through. Very good job, Alex. P4, P4, P4. It is Liam Lawson that is making his way out of the Parabolica for the Red Bull AF Corsa team. He wins the first round of the DTM 2021 season. Congratulations, Liam. Congratulations. You are a DTM race winner. Good job, boys. Great job. Really good strategy. That's it. <laughs> the youth of today, eh? It's a great moment for all of them. Well done, Liam Lawson. Bravo, bravo. Race, race winner, Liam. Yeah. Youngest DTM winner. Does that mean anything to you? <laughs> it's massive. <laughs> Life's changing, really. <laughs> I can't say that. Expectations were high, uh, especially with Alex. Uh, we we heard from quite a few other people how great he is in the car, how great he is on, on giving feedback, and then on the other hand, you have Liam, where we also obviously spoke with some others and heard how great of a talent he is. So it was very different expectations, but uh, yeah, very, very big ones and a big excitement. Liam Lawson slicing down the inside and getting the Ferrari ahead of the BMW. Got his tyres up to temperature, so he gains a position there. In fact, he's gained two because he's also got past his teammate, Alex Albon. First win for Alex Fantastic Albon. He is victorious. Whoa! That's nice. Well done. What a race. What a race, guys. Thank you very much, everyone. For the first time in DCM, called up onto the top step of the podium. First of all, I am very passionate of motorsport, so I follow this uh, young kid uh, from uh, the beginning of their career, and when I arrived this name, uh, we were sure that we can do a fantastic job with them, because uh, talent is not discussion, but also human side, uh, they are fantastic kids. 
So when as soon as I go on the throttle, the car is like snapping really aggressively, and then it cuts in a lot just after this. So when I want to go through Lesmo One, Lesmo Two, Ascari, I want to just be dancing with the car. <laughs> Have you tried with Pavarotti? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? You don't know Pavarotti? Uh -huh. that's, that's ignorance. Pa what Pure ignorance. Pavarotti. What is what is opera. Opera. Oh my god. Oh my if gosh. Oh my car, gosh. That would be the worst. You worst will gain alpha second. Imagine listening before the race. You'd, be, you'd just feel depressed before you get in the car. <laughs> Completely depressed. <laughs> opera. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool. He's, he's obviously um, a really, really nice guy. Um, extremely quick in a car. I learned a lot off him, even though we're driving different cars to what we used to. I still learned a lot of, of working with Alex this year. Um, and I know we both enjoyed this season so much. It's coming, but it's definitely going to be coming. <laughs> I don't know if we'll get it in here, but... Oh, no, we won't, because we've got... Oh, not bad. So now I'm waiting for Liam. Thank you, I had, I had Evelyn... She was like, oh, you must be taking Liam. I was like, no, Liam is taking me. So you're my driver for the... I get to take around a Formula One driver, guys. It's pretty exciting. No, this is not easy. Oh, dude, I don't want to do no, this as no, a passenger. No, no. I hate this. There's a lot of yellow flags, so it's okay. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Good, and you? turning right but really oh was that the one that was on you yeah <laughs> this is where i went to when i went i was like i was planning on just going wide and tacking back in behind you yeah. but i ended up just going it's really really wide i couldn't turn it's fun though i enjoy it honestly it's been really funny uh because the, the guys are really 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 nice uh they're professional they, they know what they're talking about uh, but at the same time, the, I think we created a, a really good atmosphere in the in the garage and uh, during the briefings. And uh, there was, there's always a joke, uh, step, uh, separating the tension. Uh, it's been really, really nice to get to know them because they're really nice guys, nice people, really focused, professional, but at the same time, good humans. I was going like on his fucking gearbox. I was like, oh yes. And then he pulled five car links before turn one. I was like, that's when I was on the radio, like, this is just stupid. Like, it's so slow. <laughs> Your number is imprinted on the <laughs> Which one is this one? This is like Red Bull for the body. This is Ron Ron special spray. Oh my god, it's cold. I feel it. I feel, huh? I feel it. It's like, it feels like uh, ice. But I don't know, we're trying it because it's, uh, it's so hot in this car. They keep me busy, but it's quite amazing. Uh, the effort they put is incredible. I mean, no one sees what really happens in between race weeks. Um, when they are at home, when they are in the simulator. I think we had one weekend where he made it from home to the track without calling me. Out of eight races and three or four testings. 
So I think apart from sporting manager, I'm kind of a travel travel problem solver. The one he calls is, is mostly me. And yeah, then we have interesting conversations at 5.30 in the morning when he didn't get the flight and we see what we can do. And then I had to get like a person to escort me through. And then he was like, oh, no, nah, it's too late. You're not going to make it. The flight takes off. And I was like, I'll, I'll make it. Let, let me go through. I'll run and I'll make it. I promise, mate. The flight doesn't take off for like 10 minutes. Just give me, let me, let me run. And uh, they finally let me through and I just basically sprinted through security and through everything. And uh, I was like the last person I got on the flight and literally they shut the doors and we left. But it was so close. It's an hour to get to the airport. I left at 5.30, which I thought was the right time to leave. Because I, I always try to get there an hour before. So I thought if I left at 5.30, I'd get there an hour before. But then I got in the car and realized I'm going to get there at 6.30 and that's when my plane takes off. So I had to, um, had to rebook that one. But he's always he's been on the limit for the last like three weekends and he's made it every time he comes here he says oh i just made the flight like with with like 10 minutes and then this time apparently he called ron he said um he said <laughs> it was 6 30 the flight departed at 6 30 and he was still in the car <laughs> on the way to the airport <laughs> it's like <laughs> what did you expect have you done have you done here? not yet we're oh. waiting for Liam, he missed his flight again. No. He's oh, he just arrived. He <laughs> <laughs> just arrived. How's the timing? Hi, How are you, man? Yeah. Hi, mate. I'm sorry about the, the flight. <laughs> All good things are free, right? So the yeah. third flight it was. Yeah. But in the end, it meant that, right, not that it helps you guys, but it meant I got a sick rental car, which I probably wouldn't have got. Nice. That's why I took the earlier flight. I think so. we spoke this morning, you and me, we had more calls than I had within one week with my wife. I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry about that. I would never have the chance to do these kind of things without, without doing this season, so... Yeah, uh, amazing. Uh, doing the helicopter flips, uh, getting to, to fly a stunt plane and doing the, the flips in that as well. Um, opportunities uh, I'll probably never have again. So, um, yeah, uh, it's been so much fun this year. Uh, I really looked forward to, to every single weekend um, of racing. It's a very unique way of preparation, that's for sure. Oh, oh what? Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Liam, what's the name of your teammate? My teammate's name is Alex. His name's Alex Albon. Oh. <laughs> Blackie, keep pushing to the limits. No, he's already pushing to the limits. Blackie, don't, don't. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> oh, dude! Mate, I'm freaking out. <laughs> Everybody in this team is uh, a, a freaking awesome. Um, my engineer this year, Jorge, is is uh, is really the best I've, I've ever worked with, um, and I've really, really uh, enjoyed working with them this year. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's, do, let's do it. I'm, I'm shopping for a pink uh, sweater, you know. Uh, <laughs> hey, the operatory one, nice. Okay. <laughs> it's actually uh, wim women. Uh, women want to be partner look? Yeah, I promised him if uh, he won this next race that we would do track walk in the pink hoodies. <laughs> We had a, a bet after uh, Nürburgring, which was not our best weekend. But the next time that uh, Liam would win uh, a DTM race, we would do track walk in this uh, pink hoodie. <laughs> so, yeah, you know what happened in, uh, in Red Bull Ring, so yeah, here we are. <laughs> Uh, you can get anything online. Did you buy it? Yeah. It looks nice, mate. <laughs> but it's not pink. It's not, it's not the same color. Why? Where's the pink one? Uh, it's, it's, it said pink, yeah. No way. You got a brown one. <laughs> uh, it's pink enough. Uh. <laughs> this it's, 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 enough. It's, yeah. the, it's the male actually, version. It, actually, yeah. Yours is more pink. <laughs> I have an A. It's still good. Yeah. Nice. Okay, the surprise for Liam. Let's go. Oh, 
Forlian, the peak of Forlian. Ciao. A special mention would go to Rosano, my uh, my mechanic, uh, my main mechanic. He is uh, one hell of a character. Um, he, he is, I don't know if I can say he's the most passionate guy, but I swear to God he is. He's so, so passionate about um, about the team, about me and, and, and racing. And um, I've loved, yeah, loved the relationship with him this year. <laughs> oh, it's nice to rip as well. Lì ama l'età di mia figlia, è giovane come mia figlia, quindi per me è fantastico lavorare con una persona così, è cresciuto tanto e secondo me potrà vincere tanto. He grew a lot over the season. I think we had uh, yeah, some deep points uh, after Nürburgring where I think the whole team was, was quite, quite disappointed uh, after everything that happened there. I think this is one, one thing that which, will, which will always stay with me, that uh, we were in a hopeless situation after Nürburgring and we were able to completely turn it around in a couple of races. So uh, that, was, that was quite impressive. Bring it home. I will try. And we go racing here at the Red Bull Ring. Perfect start for the pole scissor. Liam Lawson in the lead. Yeah, Liam. Excellent job. Excellent job. That's back where we belong. Liam Lawson alongside the 19-year-old who's getting set to see if he can close the gap still further at the top of the championship table. He comes out of the last corner, the BMW right in his mirrors. It's going to be no Sattel, but it's going to be another victory. Another 25 points for Liam Lawson. Yes, master class. That was great. Great race, Liam. Great race. Of course, uh, when uh, we started, everybody uh, was a positive uh, regarding this season, but nobody expected uh, to have this fantastic season in the first year in the DTM, uh, first time Ferrari here, and uh, for the team is a new championship. We achieve uh, race by race fantastic result, and now we are here to fight uh, for the championship, and it's a dream for us. Is this the most dangerous part for you? Yeah, for sure, especially at the start of a race. The start of a race. Yeah. A carnage. Yeah. I hope that everyone's sensible. It's my first time working with him. I've known him since he was a little kid, obviously. Woo! Oh, join in, join in, way there. Woo! This is when I was in that scholarship, and then I wanted a photo with Nick, so. I think I wanted the photo with you, mate. <laughs> I did, I asked you for the photo. <laughs> Why did you ask, you did not ask me for the photo. So. If we rolls reverse, now you're the superstar. I am I not get, the superstar. I... You're full of shit, mate. I'm not the superstar. Can we re can we, re can we re can we re can we recreate? Nah, this? this guy's super formula champion, mate. Oh, mate. On my wall. There we go. <laughs> Done. It's, it's quite nice to see how he how he goes about his racing, and obviously he's really fast and talented. Last time in the season, you bring it home, man. So far, you did every time. It will be good. It will be good. Nothing mega. Ready for the race to start. And the final round of the championship gets underway. The championship decider is go. And it's Liam Lawson with a very good start. Second place is going to be Kelvin van der Linde, but he's got uh, Nick Cassidy coming around the outside of him. Van der Linde down the inside of the curbs. Contact between the top three. They all go wide. And Liam Lawson and Nick Cassidy have both stopped. They're both at the back of the field. Van der Linde got through with the two Ferraris. Uh, most emotional day of my life, um, I would say. I think, yeah, for, for working with this team for, for this this year now, um, 
the most passionate team I've ever been with, and um, they all give 110% every single weekend, um, and they're all, yeah, just really, really cool people. Team's champions this year are Red Bull, Alpha Tauri, AF Corsa, and a heartbroken Liam Lawson, who gave it everything, has to settle for runner-up, but he can be hugely proud of his efforts this year. It makes me happy every day I see him, the, the, the way he performs, the way he developed. I think he, he made huge steps throughout the season. He's, a, he's still the same cool guy and he's still having the same great character, which is really lovely to work with. But all the, the, the way he matured and, and he grew up is really amazing. And, and I'm, I'm very proud that because for sure one day he will be in Formula One and we were part of his way to Formula One. So definitely proud of that. It was a tough one this year, it was a, a tough season, but no matter where we are now, I think we come out very strong out of it and we all come out honest. We, we didn't do any bullshit, there was nothing ever done wrong, there was nothing unsporty and I think that's what, what is the most important part, that's what, what we all stand for and especially you with a big career ahead, I think that's something you showed today. We did everything right this year, um, so yeah. A lot of uh, a lot of emotion with with all the guys on the team. Being with you guys, everything has been like family. We've had a lot of fun. Um, it's been great to be a part of you with you guys. I think honestly, I've had much more fun this year than I have you know, last year and, and things like that. There's a much more of that family atmosphere. And I uh, just want to say thank you for, for everything. Thank you for making us feel, uh, I don't know what the word is, like um, just happy, honestly. Like it, it's so relaxed here, but still thanks for everything. And, uh, and yeah, that's about it really, so.